<laughs> move, move on, Simon. Move on. Please, that's, that's please, that's gonna... sorry. Please welcome to the stage is Leo Viking. Uh, come on, Leo. Don't be shit. Start the clock. Hello. Hello. I'm a comedian from Finland. Nice to be here. Yeah. Uh, one thing I've noticed about you English audiences is sometimes when you hear a joke, after the joke you go, hey, to let the comedian know that you got the joke. Hey. Which I think is really weird, because in my home country, that means no. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm hearing is, ha ha ha, no. <laughs> ha ha ha, absolutely no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I moved here, uh, I've had my first bad gig over here a couple of weeks ago and uh, the way I know it was bad was because afterwards a lady came up to me and said, that was really brave of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not something you hear after a good gig. <laughs> uh, so I was at the tube, as you people like to call it, and there was a lady who had the weirdest sneeze I've ever heard. You know, when she sneezed, she sounded like a cartoon duck. You guys ever heard of this? No? She went like, ha ha ha. I did not know what to say. I didn't know whether to say bless you or take her to the vet. <laughs> it was a weird situation. A card? Yeah. One card, Two. sorry. Oof, I said to my friend before this gig, I feel like puking. And he asked, Are you nervous? I said, No, I puked before. <laughs> it's. <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah, it's it's not a new thing for me. <laughs> That's actually a lie. I have no friends in this country. <laughs> yeah. So my name is Leo Viking. Like that is like my actual name. Like that is what my parents named me. And sometimes I think, pff, what the fuck? <laughs> Some dude doesn't have a card, but he keeps yelling it. Anyways. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what my parents were thinking when they were naming me, you know, because they were looking at this 12 pound baby Going like, yep, this baby looks like he's gonna rape and pillage <laughs> What shall we name him? Viking Some people don't uh, find that funny hmm. Even after 951 years, still too soon So my grandma, she just turned 88, which I think is amazing that she's lived that long. Uh, then I started to think about it. My grandma is the most hardcore gangster I've ever met. You know, this tiny 88-year-old Finnish lady is the most hardcore gangbanger I've ever met. And I hope I'm using the word in the right sense, because <laughs> I, I don't mean it in a sexual way, just in a, like a... <laughs> you know, because she was 10 years old the first time she killed a man. Pretty funny. She's 10 years old, she sees these Russians coming, we're at war with Russia, winter war, she sees these Russians coming and she's just like, they probably want to kill me, and she just, <laughs> and then she just lived her life. <laughs> yeah, and a couple, of we, uh, a couple of years ago, when grandma turned like 85, she decided like, maybe I should grow some weed. I was like, you should definitely grow some weed. <laughs> you have seen some horrible things and you need to forget about them. <laughs> the thing about my grandma, she's not good at growing weed, you know. Yeah, boo, exactly. That's what I said to my grandma. <laughs> boo! This is some shit skank, grandma. <laughs> but you know, it was my grandma's weed, so I kind of had to smoke it. <laughs> mm. I think that's the rule. Then I thought, like, first you killed a person, now you're giving me drugs. You are the coolest person I've ever met. Yep, that's about it from my grandma. Uh, you guys ever been to the sex shop? <laughs> <laughs> no? Have you, like you, you've been there? Uh, yeah, loads of times. Yeah, loads of times. When you went there, did you know how to behave? No, you're not yeah. supposed to behave in the yeah, sex me shop. Me neither, I didn't know how to behave. I went there with one, one of my friends. First thing we did, we grabbed two dildos, started sword fighting each other. And the shopkeeper came immediately and was like, hey, this is not a toy shop. We were like, oh. <laughs> I think it kind of is. <laughs> so yeah, I don't, I don't like to drink alcohol personally. I don't mind if people do, but uh, I just find like whenever I'm drunk, 
I always feel like I can do whatever I want. I don't like this feeling. Like last time I got drunk, I challenged a group of friends to a dance battle. Not a group of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> There he is, Leo Viking, finalist number one. <laughs> I should really count as four minutes, 57 seconds, because he involved me for a few seconds there. Yeah. It's like that marathon runner who was carried over the finish line. <laughs> it, it did get a bit Scandi drama towards the middle of that. But there you go, that was Leo Viking, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It looked so miserable that he got there as well. It wasn't the intention of his evening at all. <laughs> uh, we'll, uh, we'll have another one from the list and then we'll throw it open after the next yeah, one, I think. That. Yes, let's have it. Who's next then, Simon? Please run the stage is Lucas Gwynard. <laughs> oh, something like that. All yeah. right, how's it going? 